Dunedin TV presents your local weekly morning show from delightfully different Dunedin. Featuring Justin Cattaccio with Caitlin Hart. Including a musical performance by a local artist and in-depth conversation with people in the know. This is Good Morning Dunedin. This week on Good Morning Dunedin, the Dia de los Muertos Ofrendas are out in Pioneer Park. Sage Wiley joins our show in the Art Corner segment, where we are helping to make Dunedin an art and cultural destination by highlighting local artists and artwork throughout our city. Lastly, John Diddy joins our show this week. No, get it all rich, quick a catapult. You want to eat entire elephant, it's gradual. The llamas throw a lot of water for a lack thereof. If only little miracle would grow a miracle. But that's improbable and kind of bottle knows you try to All of this and more coming up this morning on. Good morning, Good Dunedin. morning Dunedin. Dunedin. Welcome back to your favorite little local morning show. I'm your host, Justin Gattaccio, and I'm here with the crafty Caitlin Hart and the wordy John Diddy. John Diddy is an old friend of ours here at Dunedin TV. He's hosted some of our, our holiday parades and Mardi Gras parades. Uh, he's a local artist, uh, born and raised in Dunedin, and has um, been traveling, doing some touring. He's a, um, a vocalist and rapper. And um, welcome to the show, Diddy. How you doing? Thanks for having me here, Justin. You know, I, uh, I know I'm not gonna be doing too much talking today as we're uh, dealing with a little bit of delay on this social distanced uh, recording. But uh, <laughs> it is convenient that I can be in the comfort of my home wearing two different forms of plaid, one of which you cannot see below me. Again, welcome to the show, John. It's good to see your face again. It's been too long. All right. So again, thank you for tuning in this morning. Whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or watching our local Dunedin TV cable channels 15 and 639. However you found us today, thanks for watching your favorite little local morning show. All right, so uh, what's been up, Caitlin? Well, this past weekend, I hit some balls. I got a little batting practice in, and I did a little throwback. I did some pitching, some fast pitching from when I used to play fast pitch ball, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I still have it in me, I think, <laughs> but that was fun. After that, we did a little game night at the house, uh, just relax for the rest of the night. Uh, so what about you, Justin? I also took my pooches for a walk in the woods in Hammock Park on Sunday. Such a nice time. Those trails are a great natural place to reconnect to Mother Nature. Uh, did you know that they're building a boardwalk on Fern Trail? So uh, there's a metal frame under the thick board decking that when finished will run the entire length of the quarter mile trail. The addition of the brand new boardwalk on Fern Trail is located within Hammock Park at 1900 San Mateo Drive and is underway and slated to be completed this fall. Fern Trail named for the dominant growth of the native gigantic leather ferns and sword ferns is a unique quarter mile trail that has been a public favorite and vital connector trail for decades. It's a naturally wet and moist area, especially during the rainy seasons of June through September, and has been known to be flooded for the majority of the year. So the friends of the Hammock and the city of Dunedin are excited to continue the restoration efforts of Fern Trail and the new race boardwalk will help protect the terrain and create safe passage for visitors year round. If you want to help volunteer or donate or even just learn more about Hammock Park and the Fern Trail, please visit www.hammockpark.org. All right, Caitlin, what else is going on in the Community Corner? October 19th through 25th, 2020 is Florida City Government Week. This is a week-long annual event when Florida City celebrate, showcase, and engage citizens in the work of municipal government. Enter your 6th through 8th grader in our essay contest, If I Were Elected Mayor, and tell us how home rule helps make your city a great place to live. Entries must be 6th, 7th, or 8th grader in Florida to enter. The essay must be typed or illegibly printed, so no cursive, please. No more than one page long and no more than 250 words. A completed entry form must be stapled on top of your essay. 
deadline to mail is January 29th, 2021. Mail to the Florida League of Mayors Post Office, Box 1757, Tallahassee, Florida, 32302. You can find out more at DunningGov.com. So Justin, did you make it out to Piper's on the Pier this weekend? Yes, I sure did. It was just like old times. Uh, they did a great job and it was beautiful sounding. There was a uh, great sunset. So uh, if you do go out there uh, on Friday or Saturday nights at sunset to the fishing pier, uh, please practice social distancing and wear your face coverings. Uh, it just, you know, we don't want to get too many people out there crowded all together. So again, practice your social distancing and wear your mask. Well, tonight at the House of Beer, the Dunian witches are going to fly on their broomsticks and do a wicked dance for everyone. The witching hour is going to be around 7 p.m. tonight, Friday, October 23rd. So come by and see this unique group do their little song and dance. If you miss it, keep an eye out for them around town up until Halloween night. Awesome. That sounds like a wicked good time. Have you ever seen that, John? Have you ever seen the, uh, the witches around town? <laughs> no, I have not. I have not been privy to the witches. <laughs> Well, there's like a group of like 20 of them and they're all decked out and they have, you know, I think this year they have actually like real masks on. Um, and then there's like, they have like a long nose on them too. It's really neat. Very nice. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll see you out there. Perhaps. <laughs> Something that I like to do um, when I'm out with my, uh, with my daughter and my dogs is to, it was to pick up uh, roadside litter. The Young Professionals Group here in Dunedin has organized a litter pickup and uh, Dunedin TV was there. Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead celebration, is a little bit different this year. Instead of the large puppet show and parade, Pioneer Park stage has been decorated with the ofrendas that you can put a picture of a uh, past loved one up there and uh, take some cute pictures with all the lights and the Day of the Dead. So there's a beautiful ofrenda up in Pioneer Park. Go take a look. Just like in Coco, they'll come back to life for that one night. Day of the Dead. Join us in my crafty corner when we return from a quick break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Good Morning Dunedin! Today in Caitlin's Crafty Corner, we are making Dunedin rocks. Right, like the ones you see around town and the, yep, world, with the ones and stuff? Exactly. Nice. So that, of course, consists of paint brushes. So let's get started. So what you'll need first to get started actually will be some aprons. You got some aprons at home. Oh, schmucks. Slide these things on. <laughs> That way you don't get paint all over all your clothes. Fancy clothes, too. These are like for kids. <laughs> why am I seem so small? <laughs> seems to fit you perfectly. Oh, yes. I look, I look like a... <laughs> um, so you will need some rocks, of course. So we kind of pre-painted um, these so they can dry a little bit before we start decorating our, you know, our pieces, what we're going to be making out of them. It is Halloween spooky season, so we will be making some Halloween rocks. Um, we will need some paint brushes, of course, and paint. Obviously, you can't paint rocks without paint. And then a little cup of water. I like to use a palette. Yeah, so we already put the paint out on the little palette, so we can get started. So we are, I don't know what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with a ghost. Okay, so Justin, start with a ghost here. I guess I will start with, I want to make a cute little pumpkin. So these ones are kind of, just paint it on really quickly so they can dry. Whatever you want on your rocks and make them special. But, of um, course. But, yeah. but it is Halloween spooky season, so um, we are painting some little rocks. Here's my little pumpkin. We did forget the green paint, 
so he will not have a little stem, but that's okay. Aww. That's not the important part. It still looks like a pumpkin to me. So. Ooh, let me see. Ooh, love <laughs> so, it. So thank you. It's a little pumpkin. I do want to make a ghost. I don't know why. Okay, you want to switch? But I think a ghost would be super cute. I know it's super simple, but I want to make a little ghosty so on my rock. Little cat going. The ghost is definitely the most simple. You literally put two to three dots on it and you are done. Yeah. So in my ghost, I added a little mouth, like a little ooh, mouthpiece for it. So uh, there's my well, tinted to know how to draw uh, ghost. A cat. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to make my cat like that. Maybe the eyes a little longer and the mouth a little smaller. Oh, that's a cute cat. Cat. I'm gonna do a pumpkin. Here's the white. If you need okay. white. Okay. Yeah, let's not. Let's do this black one. A little kitten. A pumpkin. Sam, stay here. Of course, obviously, these are real basic. Um, we can't spend hours on making these rocks right now. Yeah. But at home, of course, if you have the time, then um, go for it. Yeah, and you can use different different size brushes, different size rocks. See if you can. Ooh, you got whiskers on. Added here. some little whiskers to mine. Cute. <laughs> A little black hat. Of course, you can use more colors and stuff, but we just brought the basic orange, black, and white colors with us today, just to do these kind of just to show what you can make out of them. Um, just to make it real basic and quickly. Do mine on camera. Go for it. <laughs> there, I did it. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna make this window a skeleton face. I'm gonna Let's try to paint over this white and see how that turns out. See if it turns out any better, any easier. Um, which I think it does. It actually looks a little better to try to paint um, the pumpkins on. Oh, do like a prime primer. Ooh, that's kind of like a skeleton, huh? Bit. So yeah, it actually is a little better if you do use the white on top of her black rock and then the orange on top, then you, you get rid of the yeah, black coloring. This, 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 this but it is a little wet, so I'm not going to finish that right now. Probably just this ancient paint that's not, uh, <laughs> not sticking so good. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of, can't really finish it because it's still really wet, so it's just going to mess up if I try to do the another layer. But those are our rocks. Yeah. So we have, again, we have a black cat, Justin. Cat. I've got a skull skeleton. skeleton. We got a couple little ghosty friends. And, some and a pumpkin. So that was a quick fun craft. Obviously, of course, you can make it more, you know, last longer, be more creative, use more colors. And, and then uh, a lot of times other rocks. people uh, sign the back with like Jenny and Rocks. Mm -hmm. So, and again, that is a little okay. easier with the little marker, pen, the paint pens, um, just because you just write it off like a pen. So yeah, are we, we can hide these ones even. Yeah. Maybe you could take these home to your daughter and go hide them around a hammock park. Yeah, keep an eye out for one of our uh, Crafty Corner little spooky, rocks. spooky little right. Halloween ghost. All right, Time so, for uh, birthdays? Yeah, I All think right. that's it for Crafty Corner. Thanks for joining us for today's craft. It's time to hear some birthday shout outs. Happy birthday to my cousin Parker. Parker turns five tomorrow. He loves four wheeling and he's really good at it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to John. He loves the beach and is always joking around. Happy birthday, John. Happy birthday to Tabitha. Tabitha loves animals and Disney and she's almost done with her degree in pharmacology. Happy birthday to Katie. She is the best mother of her two beautiful children. She has her master's in engineering and has a 102 year old grandmother. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Melody. Melody loves dogs, traveling, and the city of Dunedin. Happy birthday to Carrie. She likes doing nails and loves going to the Hard Rock. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. All right, it's time for our Art Corner guest, Sage Wiley. Dunedin TV caught up with Sage over at Dunedin Hemp Company, where she has just finished a wonderful new mural. Let's hear from Sage and check out her new artwork. My name is Sage, and I'm a local muralist here in Palm Harbor. 
Um, I paint walls for a living. Okay, we're at the Dunedin Hemp Company, and they sell like Kratom, Kava, um, CBD, but I'm painting the wall out here. Yeah, so it's like the Kratom leaves, and then bamboo too, so yeah. I've been doing art basically all my life. Um, my mom's an artist, my grandpa was an artist, so I just grew up around that. And I've always taken classes in art. My inspiration for this mural was basically like Kratom and just like going off of hemp. So that's the reason why I did leaves. And then um, eventually I'm gonna add a little bit of color, probably some pink, just to like spice it up a little bit. Yeah, so I did the bait shop on the causeway, it's called Angler 360. It has shrimp, bait, everything on it. And then I did another mural in Indian Rocks. It's like an acai place and I did a huge pelican on it. That was probably my favorite one. Uh, one of my inspirations is Steve Spadalf. He started painting oranges all around downtown Dunedin at night and then he got, he blew up off of that and now he gets paid for doing it all over. I like his style. It's like realism and I'm really into like realism obviously. I, I specialize in portraits. I think murals are important because they, it has a lot of culture to them. Like it's not just the same old, same old. People get inspired by seeing art like that and it really does like at my other mural, people would come by and tell me that they're making such a good, like, big difference on their town and just like, just like making the town more lively, you know, especially through the pandemic. And it's just been hard for everyone. So seeing art like that, like, draws people in and like, it promotes your business too. It, it, it helps out. Good morning, Dunedin. Cool mural, Sage. Thanks for sharing your talent with us today on Good Morning Dunedin. All right, top 10 Halloween traditions. So the number 10 thing to do, spookify your house. Now, I uh, usually do like those fake cobwebs and uh, put out my Ooh, pumpkins, yeah. maybe some orange and black light lights. I have a couple ghosts set up outside. I think I mentioned that last week's show. All right, number nine, pick a pumpkin. Uh, they don't really have many pumpkin patches around here, but uh, just finding a pumpkin at the grocery store is good, or if you go to one of those little pumpkin patches. You went to one, Justin. I did. They exist. <laughs> Number eight, watch a Halloween classic cartoon. Now, I, uh, I like Garfield's Halloween classic from 1980-something. Just rented that last night and watched it. That's a good one. Which, uh, which one is your favorite? Um, so I usually watch the Peanuts. Yeah. Halloween yeah, one. The Great Pumpkin. Mm-hmm. All right, so number seven, Halloween traditions, watch a horror movie. I uh, I can't stomach that Saw movie, but uh, <laughs> I, do like a, I do like a good scare every once in a while. Yeah, this one is not for me. I don't like horror movies. <laughs> All right, I think you'll like number six, though. The number six top Halloween tradition is visit a corn maze or haunted house. I don't think I'm going to um, the Bush Gardens one this year. Yeah, that is usually a tradition for me, but I think I'm going to skip out this year just due to the whole virus sick, thing. Sure. Mm -hmm. But I will be visiting a corn maze this year. I've always been wanting, I've always wanted to do that, so that should be a lot of fun. Okay, so uh, the number five top Halloween tradition make a craft or treat. We have been getting crafty on this week's show, and I definitely do want to be making some treats, Halloween treats this year. My wife makes pumpkin everything. She puts, because apparently you can only get pumpkin every, only on this time, this time of year. So she put, she makes pumpkin bread. She oh my gosh. She makes pumpkin uh, cookies. She puts pumpkin pancakes. Ooh, so pumpkin. that sounds so good. Pumpkin everything. Number four. Find or make a costume. That could be scary, that could be cute, whatever kind of costume you like and you're into. Um, still haven't figured out one for me this year. What about you, Justin? Oh, running out of time. Yeah, probably be Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three. Number three. Actually wear the costume that you said you're going to make or wear. 
um, whether it's online or live in person. Number two, go trick-or-treating. Uh, now, I don't know how it's gonna be this year with everything going on, but I would just practice your social distancing on this one this time. Yeah, wash your hands first if you can. Mm -hmm. And then number one, Number one is tradition. eat candy. <laughs> but not all your kids' candy. But you have to eat some candy because it is a Halloween tradition to eat some candy on Halloween or some other Halloween goodies. I love those little sugar cookies with the frosting on top and the little sprinkles. Mm, my favorite. All right, well that uh, concludes our top 10 Halloween traditions. Uh, our musical guest this week is John Diddy. Welcome again to the show, John. It's a pleasure to be here, guys. It's been it's been a minute since I've gotten to host anything Dunedin TV related. Obviously, I, I was just gonna say that you're no stranger to Dunedin TV. You've hosted uh -huh. many hol uh, holiday and Mardi Gras parades with us, and we would like to, to welcome you to our new show, Good Morning Dunedin. Um, you're, you've been kind of co-hosting this morning, but let's let's get down to the to the nitty gritty, Diddy. Uh, so just tell us, tell us, and tell us all our friends at home what you've been up to. Oof. Well, uh, 2020 has certainly been a year. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. But uh, slowly, the music scene is returning. So I've been, uh, you know, over over the course of quarantine and and COVID, I've been just trying to do a lot of writing. Uh, I, I I write raps. I write lyrics. Um, for those of you at home who don't know. And uh, so I've been working on a number of collaborations with other hip hop artists, other local bands. And uh, uh, then also recently, which was pretty fun, you know, there's all those best of the Bay uh, with creative loafing, the, the polls. And somehow I landed several awards, including despite holding no political office ever, fourth best mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that popping up uh, last month. That's uh, yeah. We were up for best morning show. But I don't think enough of y'all voted for us, so yeah, didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so you've been doing you've been doing some music, and you've been like hosting anything, and you, you were doing some stuff at the brewery and around town. Has that kind of been on hold as well? It was. Uh, thankfully, very recently, things are coming back. Um, actually, I have a show now that literally just got announced the other day. Um, Saturday, November 7th, I'll be back at Dunedin Brewery for a limited attendance show uh, with prepaid tickets that can be purchased for it. And it'll be myself and a local prog rock band, Ant Hill Cinema, will be performing there uh, on Saturday, November 7th. And uh, I think you can grab tickets at dunedinbrewery.com slash merch. And uh, that'll be as long as they're available. Um, other than that, I've been doing actually a lot of shows with my good friend Stick Martin. We've been kind of doing a mix of covers and originals, kind of with a hip hop twist. And we just played Bowser's in Dunedin. We've been playing uh, Clearwater Beach. Um, we're about to start playing Green Iguana in Tampa, New World Brewery, like all over the place. It's it's going to be fantastic. Okay, well we'll definitely be uh, be out there checking checking out your, uh, your sets. Sounds like you're going to be getting busy. And we'll. I you know, am. There's, there's no there's no Christmas parade this year, um, so I think I think we're live streaming the boat parade. It's about as close as we're getting. Oh no. Uh, but maybe we'll get you back for Mardi Gras to have you host the Mardi Gras parade once again. Lots of fun ones. So hopefully yeah, or if we have any other things events, will be better by then. Uh, in the meantime. Um, so cool. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the music video that we're going to watch here in a minute. Absolutely. So um, this was a track off the collaborative album Factory Recall between myself and my uh, partner in crime DJ Hurley, who has uh, actually moved back to Switzerland. Um, however, before he moved back, uh, while he was still living in Dunedin, we basically shot a music video for this song, and it uh, it took a while for it to be released, just because during 
quarantine and COVID uh, and all of the tribulations of 2020, it just didn't seem like the right time to release it. So we kind of waited till uh, just the, the, I think it was like a week or so ago that we, we dropped the video. And uh, so it's DJ Hurley on the production of the song, basically all of the musical elements that you're hearing in addition to the audio engineering, um, myself on vocals and lyrics, and then uh, my good friend Reed Scahill from the band Ajava. He actually sings the chorus. And all of the visuals that you'll be witnessing are choreographed, uh, set like, like location scouting, filmed, edited, directed, all of it by uh, Adam Dangersmith, uh, AKA Carcosa Productions. And he really did a phenomenal job. I, I am just, uh, yeah, He's, it's outstanding. <laughs> you guys are all a great talent. I know Adam uh, Danger Smith has done another video um, for Renee Schlegel we, uh, we had on a couple weeks ago, and it looked fabulous. Um, so you all are in for a treat here in a minute. For everyone watching at home, of course, if you'd like to find out more about Myself, you can go to johndiddy.com or follow me at the real John Diddy on all social media platforms, and that's uh, J O N D I T T Y. Thanks, John. Uh, before we play your music video, let me thank our guest Sage Wiley in the art corner, uh, you and DJ Hurley for the rap, and of course, you, wherever you are, for joining us. You can reach out to us on social media to share your birthday. Please remember to be kind to one another and stay safe out there. Caitlin, John, Sage. Good, Good morning, morning Dunedin. Shock full of no money Got an out of box The block dropping old iPhones Positive that I will never be rich But a pessimist is still allowed to dream While a pocket chock full of no money Got an out of box The block dropping old iPhones Positive that I will never be rich But a pessimist can dream no, get it all rich, quick a catapult You wanna eat entire elephant, it's gradual The llamas throw a lot of water for a lack thereof If only little miracle or grow a miracle But that's improbable and kind of bottle nose You try to monetize the man and modify your gross I fought the law, they took my capital And in the end, I better save and dole than counting on the lotto Shopping on my bottom since the TJ Maxx Cut out the rebate stack, finding the cheapest gas While I was making bogus all my brother pre ate ass A family members later willing him a relay pass I'm not a heat paid cash, I'm more an each pay match And bad cook, fast food with some VA splash Some dudes will burn it all to get the seat bank cash I'm still a gentleman and never do a three take ass like Bile a pocket shock full of no money Got an out of box the block dropping old iPhones Positive that I will never be rich But a pessimist is still allowed to dream While a pocket shock full of no money Got an out of box the block dropping old iPhones Positive that I will never be rich But a pessimist can dream, right? I want to dry your lint and a paper clip like No money Retailmenot.com and I remember Cyber Monday's gone until November Walmart isn't worth the fluorescence I really can't afford Whole Foods anyway Juggling over 13 email addresses So I can get my Amazon Prime trial at gratis Until this bastard started tracking on my credit card And booming now I'm forced to putting more than 35 in my cart Ducking any miscellaneous tariff 31 and I'm becoming a scrubber lives at his parents Forbearance, error, money moves Be that money's capricious So if I'm having money, I'm not even showing it off When we went to Venice to win and spend whatever It's like I've never had that type of luxury so apathetic I'm the deadbeat boyfriend who's misguided Dad, I ain't paying anything to for a beer The stars are never out of reach No matter how far they see Happiness is just a state of mind I feel a 
lot of dreams. The stars are 